This is a very exciting place to work. I think we have an almost unique blend of basic open research that's directed towards solving real practical problems for industry and for society. The lab in Cambridge began in July of 97. We were the first lab to be opened outside of the USA. Today we're part of a network of Microsoft research labs around the world that taken together I think represents the strongest computer science research lab in the world. I think Cambridge is a very natural location for Microsoft to set up a research lab. Not only do we have a world-class university, but it's also a hub of innovation. There's a real entrepreneurial spirit in the city. So we have around a couple of hundred people in the lab, comprising scientists and researchers and engineers and postdocs. We also have a very strong intern program, particularly in the summer. We have product groups embedded within the lab that we collaborate with very closely. The lab collaborates extensively with the academic world. We participate fully in academic conferences and we co-supervise PhD students in universities across Europe. So the lab has a portfolio of research areas which I think reflect some of the major trends in our industry, particularly around cloud computing and machine intelligence. We do research on languages and tools for programming. We do research in networks and in systems and in security, all of which are vital to the infrastructure of cloud computing. One of the newer areas of research in the lab brings together a cross-disciplinary team of designers and engineers and social scientists aiming to create compelling new experiences for living in the digital world. In the early days of the lab, one of the first research areas we set up was in machine learning. And at the time, that was seen as a sort of a crazy, wild field in which to be doing research. But today, machine learning is very much in the mainstream. In fact, it's one of the hottest and fastest moving areas of computer science. Recently, we've come to realise that there's a very deep connection between computer science and biology. It's extraordinary that these two very different fields should have such deep connections. This is reflected in our research in programmable matter and in biological computation. We have a strong culture of doing basic open research that's driven by very real practical applications. We like to go after problems that have practical value, but which are so difficult we don't know how to solve them. It causes us to do basic research. In the process, we solve those practical problems, and at the same time, we develop new ideas and principles that can be applied in many different areas. A lot of our research has a direct impact on Microsoft's business. In fact, virtually every product or service that Microsoft provides has been influenced in some important way by the work of Microsoft Research, whether it's Bing or Office, or whether it's Skype or Xbox. 